Hello friends and welcome to another video from Piping Academy. I am happy that you're here watching this video that will help you to learn more about fittings, to be specific about forged fittings. You should definitely take the time and watch until the end of this short video lecture and find out if you can answer our three test questions about forged fittings at the end of this presentation. If you wish to become an expert in everything piping and piping components, just visit our website www.pipingacademy.com. Simply click on the link that you can find right below in the description of this video and explore what Piping Academy has to offer to improve your knowledge in this giant industry. Just really quick, a viewer's advice before we get right into our today's topic. Throughout watching this video, it's a great idea to take out a piece of paper and pen so that you can write down all information that you are going to learn right now. You can pause the video and press the play button as soon as you're ready to watch. So let's start with the different executions we encounter when dealing with forged fittings. Execution describes as how the piece of fitting can be connected to other piping components. Have a look on the left hand side where you can see a forged fitting with female threaded execution. Difference between what a male and female threaded execution is will be explained in just a minute. Then on the right hand side you see a forged fitting which was designed with a socket welded execution. So. Now you understand that when talking about different executions of a fitting, it will be either for socket weld or threaded connections. But when should you use a threaded or a socket weld forged fitting? An advantage of threaded connections is that they are very easy to disassemble when for example maintenance of the piping system is necessary. On the other hand, a socket weld fitting you can use when you're looking for the best way to prevent leakage within a piping system. Threaded executions should be used and are suitable for non-critical applications, while socket weld is used for critical applications. As promised, here are another two pictures that show you the exact difference between female and male connections of fittings having threaded end types. Female means that we will find the threaded part inside, while the opposite, male, means that threaded connection can be seen on the outside as on the picture on the right hand side. Most common pressure ratings for forged fittings are usually 3000, 6000 and 9000 LBS. Here I created an overview for many forged fittings made for socket weld connections that you will probably encounter when you are working with piping components. Let's have a look together while you please try to remember of let's say at least three of the items. Ok? Great. So the very first forged fitting we want to begin with is a 90 degree socket weld elbow. Then we have a T, a socket weld T. Again an elbow, socket welded, but this one is a 40 degree elbow. Then a socket weld cap, a union, reducing insert, half coupling, full coupling and finally a socket weld reducing coupling. Please take another short 20 seconds and read again each name of each item while trying your best to remember them. On this slide of the presentation you have a second overview showing you forged fittings with threaded connections while most of them being female connections. 
first one again is a 90 degree threaded elbow 40 degree elbow T the round head plug then simply the head plug square head plug the cap half coupling and the full coupling then there is also the union and different types of pipe nipples there's often much confusion involved when looking at different types of pipe nipples so i thought it will help you a lot when we dive deeper and I explain you a bit more there are pipe nipples and swage nipples pipe nipples are commonly used as adapters from one connection type to another what is always very important to mention when you talk about or want to purchase nipple items is to indicate what kind of end preparation you require that could for example be a shortcut such as TBE don't worry we will discuss all different end types with common shortcuts and titles in just a moment for pipe nipples it's also very important that the exact length is indicated. Most common length for pipe nipples are usually up to 150 millimeters. Now if you look on the right hand side you see swage nipples. Swage nipples within a piping system are reducers. And same as like with pipe nipples it's very important that you indicate what end preparation you want to have for your swage nipple. And as they are reducers, it's important to say whether you want an eccentric one or a concentric one. Now, talking about the many different types of end preparations when it comes to forged fittings. Right here, you can see an actual screenshot that I took from a recent offer I received from one of our many fitting suppliers. And down below another screenshot I took from our ERP system. What you can see on both screenshots is what you will typically find when reading descriptions of the product category forged fittings. As highlighted in yellow color there are shortcuts for the end preparations such as TBE, PBE or BBE and one might wonder what does that mean? The answer is right here. All different short descriptions of nipple ends are listed for you to read. The three most common end descriptions are shown right on the top. Plain both ends, beveled both ends and threaded both ends. Please take a moment and carefully read through the other text lines that are left. Congratulations! At this point you have already learned a lot of significant information that one needs to know when working with forged fittings. But before we continue to dive in deeper and learn even more about this kind of fittings, try to answer these three test questions. Please always choose one word of the three suggested that you believe is correct. So, each test is divided into three simple and short questions. Let's begin with question 1. What is the fitting called you can see on the picture above? Choose the right description. Is it an elbow, a T, or maybe a coupling? Try to recall the names and products we studied on our previous overview slides the correct answer will appear in 5 seconds.
Question 2 is asking what kind of end preparation this forged tea was manufactured with. Please choose one correct end type of the three suggested. Again, the answer will appear in just 5 seconds. And for the last question, please answer whether this threaded execution can be described as male, female, or none of the above. Really quick, let's do the same with another piece of fitting. Please answer question 1 until 3. The answer for each question will be shown one after another in 5 seconds. Here our third test, which is also the very last one for our basic lecture on forged fittings. Try to remember what we discussed about nipple items and please answer the three questions below. Become an expert in your industry by visiting our Piping Academy website and enroll in the best online training course available for pipes and piping components. A real life industrial course on piping based on years of professional field experience. Here you can also learn a lot about piping projects management, so please make sure you check that out as you will greatly benefit from this program. If you like this video, Please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos about piping.